Different occasions call for different makeup applications. The daytime application shown next provides general makeup guidelines. In this exercise, you will learn how to perform a basic makeup application service. Once you've completed the preparation phase for this exercise, you may proceed with the exercise. Wash and sanitize your hands, then consult with a client. Once the client's skin is cleansed, toned, and moisturized, analyze your skin and facial features. Groom brows if needed. Brush the eyebrows and follow the general guidelines for shaping the eyebrow. The brow should end at the outside of the eye, begin on the inside corner of the eye, and a peak should occur over the outside iris of the eye. Tweeze the hair accordingly. Select the appropriate foundation color, then apply the concealer to the eye area using a camouflage brush. Apply the concealer to areas that have shadows or discolorations, such as broken capillaries along the sides of the nose. Apply minimal pressure, then blend all areas with a sponge. Apply the concealer under the eye. Have the client look upward so that you can get as close as possible underneath the eyelashes. Carefully and with minimal pressure, blend the concealer. Next, apply the foundation. Use a camouflage brush and apply to the cheek area, forehead, nose, and chin. Then, use a latex sponge and a pat and roll technique, which is called stippling, to blend the foundation. Use very gentle pressure as you work. If too much pressure is applied to the facial skin, broken capillaries can result. To prepare the eyelids for the eyeshadow application, you may wish to apply a shadow primer or base first. These products allow for easier application and better product adherence. Once you've completed the application, use a sponge with minimal pressure to blend the product. Shade or fill in the eyebrows to create the most attractive and flattering shape. Begin on the inside corner of the eye and fill in as necessary. Although various brushes may be used, an angle brush is used here. For a pencil application, use small hair-like strokes. Continue to fill in the eyebrow. Note how the shape of the eyebrow narrows toward the outside corner of the eye. Use a latex sponge to clean and refine the line of the brow. Work carefully around the eyebrow, making sure that you do not smear the application. Complete both eyebrows, then check for symmetry. Apply the eyeliner along the lash line. Here, the eyeliner is applied with a pencil from the center of the upper eyelid outward using very short strokes. Keep in mind that harder lines, such as those achieved with liquid liner, may not be as flattering and are generally reserved for evening or specific fashion makeup designs. Use a detail angle brush to soften and blend the line. Next, apply the eyeshadow, in this case in the crease of the eye, with a pointed brush. Use very little pressure to protect the eye area. Note that in some cases, you may wish to apply the eyeshadow prior to the eyeliner. 
Use a blending brush to blend and soften the eyeshadow. Strive for symmetry and check your balance. Now, apply eyeliner underneath the lower eyelashes. Use a latex sponge to soften and blend the eyeliner. Note that by applying the eyeliner to the bottom eyelid, the eyes are beautifully outlined and defined. Apply a tinted or translucent powder to set the other makeup products. Use a large powder brush and apply the powder throughout the face and neck. Do not apply over the eyeshadow or eyelashes. If a cream, liquid, or gel blush will be used, apply the powder afterward. In this case, a powder blush will be applied after the powder application. An eyelash curler may be used prior to the application of mascara to open up the eyes. Carefully position the eyelashes in between the eyelash curler. Gently close the eyelash curler for a few seconds, then open and release. Apply the mascara with a disposable mascara wand. Hold the eyelid upward to allow for easier application. Then use a lash separator to separate and define the lashes and to avoid a clumpy look. Apply the blush using a C-shaped motion from the temple to the cheekbone with a fan brush. Note that blush may be applied prior to the mascara. Use a lip liner to define the shapes of the lips. Work from the outside corner of the lip toward the center. Note that you may go over the area several times to achieve the line and tone desired. Complete the upper lip, then outline the lower lip. Use a lip brush to apply the lip color. Fill in and blend the lips as necessary. Be sure to sanitize the lip brush after each use or use disposable lip brushes. Once you've completed this makeup application, perform the completion phase for this exercise.